Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we're in deep turmoil right now because we have people in California that if you have a heart attack or any type of uh, scary uh, incident, that they may not take you to the hospital for life-saving treatment due to the uh, hospitals overrun. So COVID-19 is a sad, sad thing to see. And our hospitals in California are crippling. You know, they're being crippled. And they don't have no idea. There's no help coming in because everyone in the States is dealing with the same thing. This could be the Armageddon virus that everyone's been talking about. This is, could be the Armageddon virus that everyone's talking about. The, uh... The, uh, the serum, the uh, shots are taking so long to come across, it's just ridiculous. It's just like, you know, there's eight to nine hour waits in line just to get a shot. You see elderly people, I love the elderly, I love the elderly people. They're such great saints and great souls. They're staying for hours just to get a shot. I, I, you know, I'm shocked these, the elderly people are doing it, but they have a lot of strong gumption. So I love, I love how they just, they're, they're determined. And once an elderly person is determined, you cannot change their mind. I guarantee it. I'm telling to everyone who has Alzheimer's or dementia, you cannot change an elderly person's mind whatsoever. Because they're set in their ways. Like me. I am set in my ways, and I'm not elderly. But I pretty much vary what they call thick-headed. That I will do what I want, when I want. If I want to stay home, lock myself away from the world, I will. And that's what I've been doing. I've been locking myself, only going out for um, food and, you know, like, grocery store and then home. I don't go to theme parks like I used to do. I don't do that. I don't do, uh, I don't really go anywhere, to be honest with you. I just make these voice clips and these radio uh, podcasts and see where it goes from there. I'm set in my ways, ladies and gentlemen, and no one can really change my mind on that. Really, they can't. Because I'm just sitting here and I'm just blurting truth and I'm blurting what I feel that people need to hear. But I'm worried about uh, people with lesser ailments, ailments who are very young who can't get onto an ambulance because the hospital is all full and they can't take any more. So that's the greatest fear of mine and it's coming to truth. Coming to, ah, coming to fruition. That's what it's coming to. Um, I would advise everyone who has these plastic bottles to save these plastic bottles. You know, the old Powerade bottles, plastic bottles. Uh, you can make a lot of cool drinks out of them, and then you can use them to drink out of. And I use it too, and it has a cap on the top of it as well. So you save the cap, save the bottle. You have your own uh, sports drink bottle that's 24 ounces. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting when you, uh, you have a 20 ounce, you know, like you can make a, uh, a serum I usually make to help people get out of dehydration. It's a little bit of drip drop, uh, a little bit of orange juice, and some vitamin C, uh, one vitamin C packet that says 500 milligrams of vitamin C, and, uh, that will help you overcome a lot of things. But, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes to the sky, and... I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm waiting for a package. Uh, I'm supposed to get a bark collar. Yes. I have to put Velvet in a bark collar because she barks constantly. And I have to train her not to bark at everything that just walks by. And it's very loud, too. Try try being in a dead sleep and then she starts barking with that loud bark. It would it, it drive you insane. It's very hot in here, too, as well. So I have to turn on the air conditioning. I wish I didn't have to turn on the air conditioning, but I will because I want to feel comfortable. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, I love you all. Keep your keep aiming for the stars. You can achieve anything. Have a nice day.